So I thought we would go ahead and showcase those. All right, so let's get starting um, talking about um, tonight's project. Um, it's a super quick way of um, making cards. I'm calling it the rip and flip technique. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and focus just on this camera alone. Alrighty, so um, let's see here. I'm gonna be using sentiments from the Very Best Occasions um, stamp set. And these were two cards that we made at a team meeting. Um, this one's using the Scotty Dog bundle here. And then this is using um, this little guy here is from our Hippos Hippos. And again, that was a celebration one that you could get. So, um, but just kind of showing you what it is, we are literally going to not measure, but we're going to rip our paper, mat it, and then just do some quick sentiments and we would be done. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. Oh, and I'm using the, this is a celebration paper, um, Rings of Love. Alrighty, let's jump in with the measurements. We're gonna go ahead and make two cards um, tonight just to show how easy it is to make it. And um, we are, let's see here, get this in. Um, again, these are from Rings of Love designer paper, but you can use any designer paper that you'd like. All right, so the rip and flip comes for starting with a piece of designer paper cut at four by six. And we're literally just going to pick a spot and rip it. Now, what I found is when you go to actually rip it, what we want to do is um, you don't want to angle it too much. You just want to kind of rip it um, as straight across as you kind of can. But where you do it is up to you. Just don't angle rip it. Okay, so I kind of like to go about two thirds of the way down and we are going to rip it and then we're going to flip it to make our card base. All right, so um, um, after we rip it, you just have to determine which one that you want to flip. And what I like to do is go ahead and mat it um, first here. This is matting on a piece of um, Poppy Parade on both of our cards at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm gonna get some liquid glue. And because it's gonna be full, I want this to be the primary um, one here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some liquid glue on it. Oops, I'm gonna get another one. Came into my stamping area and found that I had left um, my lid off of some of my glue, which is a no-no. All right, so I'll get my first part of it. So I always kind of do the largest section first and get it matted. And then this is the flip side of it. So we ripped it. Now we're going to use the flip side. And then you just kind of line it up on the bottom so it looks matted evenly and line up your sides. <laughs> now we've just made our rip and flip. I love it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on a card base. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And I'll go ahead and I'll get my layering piece done. This is such a good, um, I think a technique to use if you're wanting to use up designer paper, your pattern paper, or just you're going to mass produce some goodies. All right, so um, the sentiments, again, are from the very best occasions here. And on this one, I'm gonna use soft suede. And we're gonna use the sentiment that you make my life happier. Let's stand up here. And I'm gonna use layering circles. And we'll stamp. I think I'll try that again. There we go. And 
get that closed up and I'm just going to go ahead and layer that on the scallop part of it. Again, these um, on purpose, I'm making these so that they're super fast to do. And I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on here. And then we just kind of pick a spot um, where we want to, um, to have our sentiment reside. I think I'll put it right over here on this one. Ahead of time, I've got a little um, piece of linen thread and we'll get some, a mini glue dot. Again, I'm gonna make a, another one here just so that we can kind of compare it and just see it in action again. Get my snips. Again, these cards go together so fast and it's a great way when you just pretty much want to add a sentiment and call it and um, call it a day. I'm going to um, add just a little sparkle here by using the um, adhesive back seasonal sequence. Um, and even though that they say that these are like real red and whatever else, it's like the colors kind of blend in with a lot of other colors. just that simple. And then on this one, if you wanted to, like the other one, I just did one of these. And on um, this time, you know, you could pick whatever side that you wanted. I like the more colorful side myself. Oh, and I keep pulling up the glue that's, oops, about out. There we go. So I'll get some liquid glue. And I put one down here at the bottom, just a way if you don't want to do any stamping. And again, kind of with the idea of um, using up some of the designer paper, you know, we can kind of dress up the inside a little bit like this. All right. We bring our samples back in here for today. Thanks. I'm glad that you like decorating the inside of the card base. <laughs> so this is our time here together, guys, a super fast technique. Again, that's the whole point of it um, is um, to do it fast and to enjoy both sides of the designer paper without having to think about where we're actually going to cut. We could just sit down, rip it, flip it, glue it, be done with it. It's great. Let me bring in some of the other samples again, just so that you can see each one of them, you know, no two will be alike, be alike because no two rips are the same. Um, on this one, I wanted to show you that this is that ever popular gingham paper that I love. Um, but if the patterns are too close to this, like you see here, um, sometimes it can get lost. So maybe just double check both sides of your paper to see which ones that you like um, the be together. But this one's a really super subtle um, rip and flip. On this one um, and you can kind of see where that went but that is again our time here tonight so um, <laughs> I hope that you enjoy it I'll look at the comments and everybody have a great week have a safe and happy Labor Day weekend and I'll talk to you all next week happy crafting bye bye